Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk to you about some of the new features in Icon Field version 7.5 dedicated for building construction. With Icon Field version 7.5, we redesigned our keyboard because we know data entry is a key topic for all of our customers. Now you can quickly and easily add both alpha and numeric entries in one step rather than having to swap between different modes, allowing you to get this task completed and get to work quicker than before. For our customers that utilize the Lycanova MS60 multi-station for scan data, we've improved our export process. We can now export in the XML format, allowing you to bring the data into additional software such as Lyca Infinity for additional checking, processing, and archiving, combining more data sets together for your building construction projects. One key area that we wanted to focus on in this release was helping you understand not only the quality, but also the optimization of your setups. And with Icon Field version 7.5, we now include a setup graphic. When you've completed your setup, we will show you not only the quality of the measurements to your control points, but actually an indicator of how good your setup is. Highlighting the area in red, where it's a poor setup based on very narrow angles, or green, where we have a good distribution, enables you to fully understand your working area, and also when you exceed that working area, to make sure that your results are accurate every time. Working on busy projects means that sometimes you have to deal with obstacles on site. And this can sometimes have a negative impact on your lock. With the latest release of Icon Field, we now introduce a new weight and lock mode for ICR80 and ICR80S customers, whereby the instrument will no longer do a power search, but will actually wait for you to walk in front of the instrument. And as soon as you do, it will automatically relock to your target allowing you to get back to work quicker than before. For customers in the US working especially within building construction, often it can be the case that you receive a CAD file in US survey inches. Previously, this required you to have the design data rescaled to US survey feet. Now with Icon Field 7.5, we will automatically detect and apply US survey inches as an option for the CAD units when importing, but also exporting data, allowing you to get to work quicker without having to overcome the challenges of having design updates needed to get to work. As the industry becomes more digital, we now see more and more designs are based on real-world coordinates. This also includes global height to sea level. Quite often, this means for our users that they have to calculate from this global height to a local project height, i.e. subtract 400 meters to calculate what your zero level is. With Icon Field 7.5, we now have the option to apply a project height shift when creating your project and therefore, all data imported will not only now show that global height shift, but it will also show your required project height, allowing you to calculate your zero level, your 10 meter level, 20 meter level, much easier than before, without having to constantly refer back to paper plans or additional designs to work out the information to make sure that you're on the right level at the right time. As BIM processes become more and more standard in digital construction environments, we have improved our IFC usage in the field. We've enhanced our IFC visualization to make sure that we show the right color of materials for you every time. Not only that, we now also support additional metadata, such as the GUID, object names, and object location. 
For customers utilizing IFC in the field, we will now automatically include GUID and object name to your staked out points. This allows project and design teams to be able to link your stake out results directly back to the original design model for further interrogation but also better decision making to make sure that the right objects were laid out to the right tolerances on the project and to avoid any potential issues with following trades. For our building construction customers, it's often required that we need to mark elevations out on projects, whether it's for cutting off piles or for putting a datum line in it for following trades to come and use. Previously, this was more of a manual operation where you had to be behind the instrument to get to the desired elevation, walk over to that area of interest and mark the point. With Icon Field 7.5, we've now automated this process. We now have an auto state to elevation option within our state to elevation tool. Simply type in the desired elevation, aim to the surface you want to mark and press start. Once the desired elevation is reached, you can mark and store the point and then utilize the joystick to move to another area of interest and carry on that process, speeding up your workflow without having to continually return to the instrument. For customers utilizing point clouds and our verification app, we recognize that sometimes when you were zooming into your data, it was quite difficult to see the points that you captured on site. Therefore, we've added a new viewing option to enable you to change the size of the pixels on your point clouds between the small, medium and large, allowing you to zoom in and maintain the visualization of your data for better interrogation and visualization on site. Cloud connectivity to your preferred construction cloud solution is of importance to us. And therefore, we've made sure that we've updated our integrations to work with the latest APIs on offer from the various providers. One key area is with Autodesk BIM 360 Docs. Previously, it was required that any ICON user needed to be a project admin within Autodesk BIM 360 Docs. This also posed a risk whereby it meant that people had full control over the projects in that area when maybe they shouldn't need them. With the latest version of Icon Fields, version 7.5, we've updated our integration whereby it will work with the parameters and user permissions outlined within Beam 360 Docs. Now you just need to simply give access rights of view, download and upload to allow Icon users to be able to work with Beam 360 Docs to download the latest revisions, but also to update the field results that enable better decision making and progress tracking on site. If you would like to learn more about Icon Field for both building and heavy construction, please visit our website where we have a lot more information for you. We also have a contact us form which allows you to get in touch with our teams to discuss your requirements for your projects and your growth in digital construction. Thank you.